The purpose of this study was to <clears throat> treat Duchenne muscular dystrophy, a disease that affects uh, one in 3,500 boys. It's a genetic disease uh, caused by a defect in, in a gene that makes a protein called dystrophin that is very important for muscle function. So the goal of the study was to replace a, a defective copy of the dystrophin gene that the children inherited from their parents with a good corrected copy of the gene that we could deliver to muscle using a, a modified virus. What we had hoped to observe was very good restoration of gene function in the muscle cells that we targeted and um, that that um, gene would be expressed for very, very long periods of time. What we found when we looked in muscle was very limited or no expression of the gene. We considered the immune response as a um, potential culprit in that process. So we looked for immunity to the corrected copy of dystrophin that we delivered to muscle and indeed we found immunity. In some boys immunity targeted parts of the corrected gene that we knew the immune system might consider foreign. That, that wasn't completely unexpected. But in other boys we found immunity to dystrophin before we ever treated them and that was unexpected. It turns out that in a very, very small number of their muscle cells, the dystrophin gene self-corrects. It makes a very um, short but functional copy of dystrophin. Not enough is made to correct muscle function, but it may be enough to prime the immune system uh, so that uh, dystrophin is actually a target of the immune system in muscular dystrophy. It isn't what we set out to look for, but it's potentially important because of w what it might mean for muscle disease in Duchenne muscular dystrophy, that there may be a me an immune component to it that is almost akin to autoimmunity. We have a lot of work to do. We're probably at the beginning of a very long journey to understand the role of these T cells in muscle disease in Duchenne muscular dystrophy and the risk that they might pose when we try to deliver a corrected copy of the gene to muscle.